Well, good evening and welcome to Caton Business on the 7th day of January. My name is Abi Agina. We start with an outlook of fuel prices. Well, consumers could be looking at fairly low increments in the cost of fuel for the month of January. According to the Energy Regulatory Commission Director General Joseph Nganga, market fundamentals have held steady with the shilling remaining stable, trading at 102 to the US dollar, as well as continued slump in global oil prices, with the barrel now retailing at under $40. Here's more on that report. As the month of January first settles in, consumers will be on the lookout for rising commodity prices. This comes as December inflation shot to 8%, further driving up the cost of living. Fuel prices, a major factor hinged on determining the cost of living, has also been range-bound, a trend the energy regulator says could hold. The shilling has been stable at around 102 shillings to the dollar. And, uh, Internationally, the oil business is conducted in U.S. dollars. So when that is stable, then of course, generally the price will be stable. And equally, the cost of uh, petroleum products in the international market has stabilized. Mm -hmm. uh, currently, about uh, 37 uh, U.S. dollars to the barrel. So generally, we should expect um, no surprises in terms of the uh, pricing for next week. Mm -hmm. Despite the revised excise tax levied on diesel in December last year, ERC Director General notes that this will not have a significant impact in the cost of the commodity. With global oil prices on the decline, this has helped bring down the cost of petroleum products in the domestic market. Pump prices for December experienced marginal drops, with super petrol declining by 40 cents to 90 shillings and 6 cents, while kerosene decreased by a shilling and 54 cents to 53 shillings and 27 cents in Nairobi. Diesel prices fell by a shilling and 15 cents, now retailing at 78 shillings and 51 cents per litre in Nairobi. <laughs> ERC, however, has fears of massive dumping by leading oil producers in the world, noting that oil producing nations had an oversupply which could hurt net importing countries like Kenya. When you look at the uh, economic development of China, predictions are that it's not going to be growing as fast as it should. That reduces demand for oil. Uh, there is the issue of uh, Iran that uh, it has excess oil and mm -hmm. it will be dumping it to the uh, market going forward. Yes, that may be possible, but the recent development are changing that. We do not know what the geopolitics will play around with what has been cooking over the last three days or so between Saudi Arabia and Iran and other uh, Gulf countries. So I think uh, petroleum prices could still remain positive in terms of the current trend. The ERC, in line with its mandate, will in a few days be making known pump prices for the month of January, with consumers waiting with bated breath as the January blues surge on.